Hey everybody. So, yes, my nails are painted. I know someone's gonna comment that in like five seconds. So, anyway. So, I don't have my laptop yet. So, I don't have spreadsheets. I don't have any of that. So, this is, I had to like write it all down. And as you guys know, I've been keeping notes galore on several pages over here on everything I've been doing here at Orozco. So this is gonna be like my two month review um, of me working here since I left Swift. <clears throat> this is not really gonna be a comparison between Swift to this one, although I could do that. Uh, next time I go to the house, uh, I might grab my, uh, uh, the last several months of pay at Swift and compare those. But anyway, um, let's do overall how much money I've made here at Orozco. I've made $21,548.25 in the last two months. Now, Orozco does hold back $1,000, so it really is $22,548.25, but we're gonna go with the numbers of how much I took home, right? So we're not gonna count that thousand. That thousand, by the way, is in case you damage the truck and it's your fault. Um, like if you hit a yellow deer. If you don't know what that means, it means a yellow post, okay? Or a backing accident. If you back into something, it's 100% your fault every time, okay? That's not Orozco, that's not Swift. That's my personal opinion. Although every company will say the same thing. If you don't know what you're doing, get out and look, right? Anyway, so let's move on. So. $21,548.25 is what I took home. I drove 28,331 miles. Whoo! That's miles. But it could actually have been higher. We'll talk about that. In the first month, I drove 16,741 miles. So I could have actually been over 30,000 miles. But there's a reason why I wasn't. And I made, in the first month, I made $12,555 in the first month. In the second month, I made $8,693 and I drove 11,590 miles. I also had gotten delayed and uh, took a place a long time to load me. So I got an extra $300, uh, which bumped up my pay for August to $8,993. So $869.3 was mileage, plus the $300 for detention and layover was $899.3. Uh, I'm just trying to be completely transparent here. Now, in August, I went home twice. And about each time I went home, it was for four days. I went home uh, at the beginning of the month because last month, I think I only went home one day. I forgot to calculate that in to the next set of math. So, be slightly off. Uh, but I went home twice in August. Uh, the first time was, uh, the first week of August, I went home for four days. And I would honestly just need to get home and just get out of the truck. Uh, I ran a lot of miles in the first month. The second time I went home, I went home for my birthday. I have a thing, I just, I do not work on my birthday. So I put in a home time request for the 25th because the 26th is my birthday. Uh, oh, Roscoe got me home on the 24th in the morning. Like, yo. Uh, got home early, so I was actually quite thrilled by that. So I had the 24th, the 25th, and the 26th off for my birthday, and I went to work late on the 27th. Uh, so four days. I didn't really get that many miles in. Uh, the Orozco truck also had to go to the Volvo dealership because the truck had problems. Uh, I'll do a video on this truck. This truck still has some problems. There's some things I like and some things I don't like. That's gonna be in a truck review. Um, once I hit like 30,000, uh, which 
it's going to be today. So I'll be doing a truck review on this actually fairly quickly. So now let's get into the final stages of the hard numbers. Now that you know that I took eight days off. So in the month of July, and yes, I did verify this. There's 31 days. It hasn't changed. I averaged 540 miles every day. Averaged. Now, that's not counting for doing the 34 or when I was going cross country and I had a you know 25,000, a 2,500 mile run and I was able to book 750, 760 miles in a day. Averaged for 31 days was 540 uh, miles in a day. That means I made on average $405 for every day I was working or every day that month. And that's how it came up to the uh, 12555. In August, there are again 31 days. But because I took eight days off, I took 31 subtracted by eight, which gives me 23. So in August, I averaged 503 miles in 23 days. I could have gotten an extra 40 miles. So I'm short by a little bit, not much. And that's counting the fact that I had some delays, I had some bull crap that happened, okay? Shit kinda happens. Uh, and then I averaged, pay-wise, every day, $391 in the 23 days I was out, uh, that I was working. And that's counting, again, like the first month. That's counting 34s, that's counting everything. So, That is roughly, from what I can remember off the cuff, 90 to $100 more than I was making every day at Swift on average. And on average, I'm getting a little bit better mileage. So uh, maybe not so much in August, but in July I did the 540 at Swift every day not always going to happen. There is, you would get a really good day and then you would get a really short day. Or sometimes you just get a couple of short days. Just whatever. This, that, that Walmart account was good, but I'm not going to talk about that. Let's move on. So, I could have bumped in some more miles. I took eight days off. That kind of hurt me on the month because eight days, if I brought in another 500 some odd miles on those eight days, uh, that would been an extra like 4,000 some odd miles. Uh, and from the first month to the second month, I was short 5,100 miles. So I could have easily brought in another 400, I mean 4,000 miles, if not pushing closer to five, and it would have been about the same from July to August. The other thing, uh, August, it's a little bit slow, but we're starting to get into the holiday season. And so I, I can only imagine there's gonna be a, a ton of freight. Uh, so I expect to actually see my mileage go uh, probably higher than July, I'm guesstimating. Now I'm kind of going off of my past previous experience when I was OTR was Swift. Uh, so, I don't know. And that was like years ago. I've been on Walmart for a long time. So, I'm hoping I'm remembering right that the mileage should get a lot better. I've been, uh, in August, I've been doing a lot of short runs. And, you know, in the 1,000, uh, 1,300 miles. And there's a lot of loading and unloading time, and that kind of eats into your pay, or your mileage a little bit. But I still averaged really well. Uh, I would like to be in a 400, but seriously, being $900 short of that, I'm not complaining about that. And I did take eight days off. And they got me home when I wanted to be home. Uh, I've had some people really ask me that question. Uh, 
they got me home before the day I wanted to be home. That's great. I love that. And my dispatcher has been freaking awesome. Um, so, yeah, that's that. Now, I'm going to give you guys a little bit of a teaser. I'm going to be coming out with a money deal soon where I'm going to give serious cold hard cash to somebody. Like, we're talking about $10,000. So, definitely stay tuned for that. Uh, Orozco has some new news coming out. I'm waiting on the email before I take it public. But if you haven't joined or you haven't called Orozco, just wait. Because it's going to get better. Like a Billy Mays commercial. But wait, there's more. And there definitely is. Uh, and Orozco definitely has been allowing me to take control over the mentor training thing. Okay, so I'm running with that. And I'm going to be, it's going to be awesome. So if you, if you need training, I can almost guarantee you you're going to get some of the best training. And it's not going to matter who you go with because everyone is going to be on my level or they're just not going to be training because I'm going to be over those trainers. So, yeah. Uh, I will be personally involved with everybody going through training. Uh, something I wish Swift allowed me to do to some degree, although Swift does hire a lot more people. And yes, I'm wearing a Swift shirt. Thank you, Swift, for all the free shirts you've given me. <laughs> uh, they've been coming to use. Um, I just think that's funny. Uh, but hey, work clothes are work clothes, right? Uh, yeah, so just a lot of really great things coming out, man. Uh, and well, men and women are watching my channel. Um, and then the other thing I would like to add that 10,000 ounce uh, 10,000 ounces no 10 ounces of silver that's going to be given away if you are in the United States I will personally hand deliver that silver in this truck so wherever you're at I'll you know go to where I have my silver I'll pick it up, not buy it, I already got it I'll pick it up and then the truck will drive to you I'll drop my trailer off somewhere and then I will come to you and give you the 10 ounces of silver I think that is personally awesome, so if you are not a subscriber of my videos yet or of this channel go ahead and hit that subscriber button and you gotta be watching my videos to find out when and where on how you can sign up to get that 10 ounces of silver. Uh, it's gonna be in one of my videos, somewhere in the video. And the only way to know where is by watching. Uh, I'm also gonna be posting to my Instagram a little bit more, just some photos that I see when I'm out and about. And if you haven't joined my Facebook page, uh, Stephen Harr's YT uh, for YouTube. Uh, go ahead, go ahead there. Uh, you know, sign up or not f sign up. Follow it uh, because I do post updates. Uh, if I'm in a certain town and I'm know I'm going to be there for a minute, I'll post it on there. Not so much YouTube. Uh, so that way, for a meet and greet or whatever, uh, it'd be just a good way for you guys to see me if you want to so yeah definitely follow my Facebook page or Instagram if you have it and then of course hit the subscribe button let's get to 10,000 because I got 10 ounces of silver I want to give to somebody and then uh, yeah like I said there's also gonna be ten thousand dollars going to somebody soon a lot of a lot of things happening a lot of things happening Anyway, it is now 15 minutes on this video, so I'm going to go ahead and sign out. Have a fantastic day. Hit that subscribe button. Become a Patreon supporter if you don't mind. 
and I will catch you guys on the next one. See ya.